guys, Masud is here. Today we're gonna see how to make a, a Iberdo segment with the ocean, right? Uh, so, what I have to do now, I imported the geometry. This is the EHSD, this is the boat. I bring from the Maya package, so you can bring it from any 3D package. Uh, he has this animation, so just uh, animation to go in forward. And now I'm gonna put uh, 120 frames. And now uh, we start to create the, this the system. So first I will create the open cube. And uh, you put some the values here. So this is I gonna put like um, let's see this. Um, I think this scale uh, 65, uh, 8.5, uh, and 19. So this is the uh, you zero out the position and I'm gonna see through and I will group these files just to have a better uh, better management right because this is a lot of uh, a lot of files here so I will create another cube this is gonna be my meter uh, this is the closed cube so I'll put here at the position 16 and let's here around 3 minus 3 this k is gonna be 16 as well and here I'll put around uh, 1.5 and here around 18 okay so this is the area and this is gonna be my ocean this is gonna be meter so I'm gonna rename a meter nice and the top cube open is gonna be my uh, my container okay so um, now what I need to do, uh, I put some diamonds here. Uh, first, I'm gonna create the uh, hybrid of system. I open the open domain and then the meter, and then I will pick my emitter here. Okay, cool. So, I'm gonna link this here and I will link these guys as well. Um, now what I have to do is uh, I need to animate my emitter. Uh, I create the, the keyframes here. Until here, right? Cool. And now um, I will bring some uh, uh, diamonds here. To well, first I'm gonna connect the. Uh, the group to the domain as well okay so uh, I put phone uh, and I want to have uh, some phones in my scene so first I will check this uh, and link it to the domain as well and now um, I'm going to to put some diamonds, the gravity, and uh, I will create some K volumes here. The idea is this: uh, this is gonna be the meter is gonna be uh, is still emitting the the particles, so I will put the key volume on the front and the back so uh, the 
the key volume has to be have to be bigger than the the meter and I'll duplicate this and put at the back uh, then I will, s I will link it into the domain as well and then the domain the cable volume will be parented to the emitter ok I will click this I'll click this ok so then the cable volume is following the, the emitter animation and uh, I will create the third cable volume just to the scene and I will put this fit to the object and then I will select the container uh, sorry the container is spelling wrong but but uh, for this purpose you get the idea right so the the system is is done uh, most so I will start to check so on the meter I put the stream uh, yes and put constant and the speed I put two it's up to you you can have more speed or if you want to still not be constant that's okay stream is fine the idea is the emitter is still emitting and and then it gives the impression the the ocean is still going and at the, the domain uh, you put the cell size 0.1 and for tested boost I put 5 to give you more complexity with the waves and particle samples I will check out everything cool so now uh, I, my system is ready to go so I will simulate this guy and let's see what we have so for the form uh, before this, the form will be like the same if you want to change this, it's, it's up to you you can try other values, but this works for me fine so I think this is uh, on, and the cable room is very important to be inversed the, because I just want the, the particle when go inside the cable room is dying right so I'm gonna uh, put the transparency here and let's see is already done my simulation and we got this so this look is fine for me I think that's okay so I will create now a camera let's see and then I will put the camera uh, view just to see what we, we want to have ok so I will Put the view. It's easy to, if you want to uh, grab the the camera with the perspective view, but I just like to see what the camera is vi is looking for, right? It's uh, is that is just the one way. You you can do any any way you want, right? Good. So I think uh, I you link it to the the camera with the emissor uh, so oops something looks wrong I think okay uh, I, I select the wrong camera so I will select not this one and uh, this is that scan from the the pack the 3d package so I uh, will change the, the camera for the camera scene camera zero and then I uh, will create sorry for that guys but um, that's all uh, I think it looks okay okay I will put here cool 
Nice. Uh, I will uh, create the, uh, a blast to see, and then I will show for to you. So now I can parent to the emitter, and then this is following now. The camera is following the the meter, so this gives us like a, a sensation that's working. Yeah, so it is going right. So I'm gonna create the blast. So okay, that's what this looks. Cool. That looks okay for me. Uh, if you want to create more. Uh, frames you is up to you uh, you can have more frames just for this uh, tutorial just put uh, 120 frames so now I, I'm gonna create my mesh okay uh, just for the purpose uh, I change the name because I already have the 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 mesh calculated right I just to have just to bring but it doesn't matter if you if you are doing for the first time you just you don't need to rename uh, I will change the polygon size and uh, uh, particle radius the particle radius has to be uh, 1.5 times with the polygon size you can press F1 if you want to see all the information so if you have a question but I just for this purpose um, okay that's done let's see how I will, I will calculate and back again okay so that's already calculate so I already had the 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 blast so okay that's workings and uh, looks okay so let's see now we can start uh, sh shading these guys I will change the this the ocean not uh, the the mesh so uh, put on this play app and then I you I you pick the uh, water ocean I uh, will put the phone for uh, in the website you have this phone shader you can download from the next limited uh, website so uh, and they have uh, this shader for you or uh, I can put on the the link here for you okay uh, at the boat I will do some some shade, oh, so not water pure, uh, white paint. And here I will put some, I think aluminium. Let's see. Okay, aluminium. This uh, I'm gonna put some black, black shade. Okay with the the windows as well I'm gonna put some shade uh, I will uh, let's uh, see this window black as well okay this is I'm gonna put some I think uh, uh, brown bottle or I think I think a brown bottom yeah um, so I will split the window let's select better my my stuff here if you want to uh, center the object you can you can select the object, go to view, and then 
Cynthia selected. Right, so this become easier. Uh, okay, I'm gonna put this uh, uh, red. Okay. And I think, uh, for this windows, uh, I'm gonna put the brown bottom as well. I think. Let's see. Mm, okay, yeah, brown bottom. Nice. So this I'm gonna put some just for contrast. I'm uh, gonna put uh, orange. Nice. Okay, so uh, we can see the preview. Let's uh, check the render. So don't forget to hide the container, hide the emitter. Okay, and let's see what we can have here. Okay, so this what looks not look bad at all. So I just prepare to handle, and that's it, guys. Um, so just change some time limit uh, uh, the the side, put the size you want, put where you want to put. So that's it, and then put your hand there. Okay, if you like this tutorial, just uh, give a like, subscribe to the channel help us to still doing some more tutorials so see you bye